Hi, Jerry Kafitz here with Omega Chemical, and I'm here to talk to you today about something that I think will help you. Some of you may know how to do this. Uh, a lot of people in the truck washing business are just, just kind of guessing at this. What I'm talking about is how to calibrate a downstream injector. In other words, how to know when you set a downstream injector what the ratio of chemicals is that that injector is drawing and what's going on the vehicle. Uh, you can have as your standard whatever works and you just keep adjusting it until it works. But I think in order to make fair comparisons and accurate comparisons from one product to the next and how to know that you're using the product <coughs> at the manufacturer's recommendation, you need to know what your, what your injector is putting out. Now in the old days, <coughs> we had what were called hydro injectors and they had a little metering tip something like this I'll hold it up and see if maybe you can get a little better shot a view of it here although it's probably going to be out of focus a little quarter inch tip with an orifice in the end and they're color coded this one happens to be brown and you knew once you had calibrated it that a brown tip would give you such and such a ratio you know maybe 32 to 1 a red tip would give you 20 to 1 a black tip would give you 10 to 1. But the way that you need to go about calibrating an injector works something like this. Get yourself a bottle, a quart bottle, and it's very important that this quart bottle have markings on the side. Uh, ounces uh, is, is what we use. And, and you're going to need to know that. You're going to need to know how many ounces you're starting with for this test and how many ounces you wind up with. You fill this up to a certain mark. This one says 25 ounces right here where my finger is, so I'd fill it to 24 ounces just because that's just a, an easier number to work with. And then <clears throat> you put your pickup tube from your chemical injector into this bottle. Okay, Make sure it goes all the way to the bottom. And you fire up your machine, your pressure washer, low pressure's fine, and, and, and time it. You either have to time it and know exactly when one minute is up and of course know what your machine is putting out or you have to measure what's coming out in a five gallon pail. Either way you have to know when that machine has pumped out one gallon of product and then shut everything off. So you've pumped out <clears throat> either one gallon of product or four gallons of product whatever your machine is set to do and then you look and see how much has been drawn out as the say four gallons in one minute has been pumped into your pail or pumped out okay and here's what you do you then look at the ratio the ratio in other words if if you have pumped out a full bottle which is 32 ounces here this is a quart if you've pumped out 32 ounces of product or drawn out rather through your downstream injector and your pressure washer has put out on the output end, at the end of your hose, at the end of your gun, has put out four gallons, then your ratio is 32 ounces, or one quart, to four gallons. Well, what is that? 32 ounces is a fourth of a gallon. So if you've drawn a fourth of a gallon of product to four gallons of water, your ratio is 16 to 1. If you've drawn out uh, 16 ounces to your four gallons, your ratio is 32 to 1. <clears throat> and then you know that a particular setting on your injector, a particular turn of the dial, a particular position of the dial, a particular uh, injector tip inside has given you X ratio and you have to know that in order to really understand what's going on and to really be in control of how much chemical you're using, what your chemical is doing at what ratio, <clears throat> and that's how you calibrate an injector. You take the amount that's drawn, measured, divided into the output in gallons, and that ratio is your ultimate application ratio. Now, don't make the mistake a lot of people do. They'll take the product and they'll dilute it. Well, I'm going to put five gallons in a 55-gallon drum, and then I'm going to do, and then I'm going to put it through my injector. Well, you wind up with just really horrendous ratios and you're, you're putting on product at a ratio that's so weak that no product can work. So start out with a product straight. You don't want to take up any more room than you need to, especially in a mobile wash operation. 
see what's being drawn out here in your test bottle, divide that into the output of your pressure washer, and you have your ratio. I'm Jerry Kafitz.